the topic of dementia is sort of what we used to deal with with cancer or AIDS. It was a real hidden uh, subject. And before um, we started speaking up about it, people just weren't getting the, the help they need. It's good to have a basic un understanding of what dementia is and how it may manifest itself in people. So in this umbrella turn of dementia, we're saying that a person is having trouble with memory, with thinking, with language, maybe behavior and judgment is even changing, and it's changing in a way that everyday life is affected. Just as with, with any disease, there is more to the person than the dementia, and that they have qualities and skills and things that they can still offer to their community. They're still part of our community. So as a community, how can we respond in a much more optimistic way and really support people to live well with a chronic condition that right now uh, we don't uh, equate living well with, with dementia and yet we have this tremendous opportunity to help individuals who are living with dementia and their family members to um, hope for better and hope for more. Dementia is one of those diseases that are not visible. Uh, it doesn't make being handicapped in other ways with that are visible easier, but with dementia, people don't know. And when they find out, they don't know what that means or how to act. So the concept of a dementia-friendly city means people get it. My mother was diagnosed uh, back in 2008 of having dementia. And then I, I saw what it, the toll it took on my father and the, the demand of a caregiver and what's all involved. This really prompted me to, to, to try to do something in our community because that's what we do in Tempe. We always look at quality of life initiatives uh, to better the quality of life of our residents and businesses in our community. And this really connects with individuals. The more people I talk to, they know someone or have a friend or family member that has been diagnosed. The first thing we did was to start our Memory Cafe in September of 2016 and let the people in the community know that we are here to help them with uh, services, resources, and a connection to other people who are going through the same situation. Um, it started out slow, but has grown tremendously. And we've seen over 200 people visit our Memory Cafe and tell each other about it. Uh, neighbors, friends, family members share that information and how happy they are to find a, a positive resource. We've had people come out who have been at home for 10 years, not talking to anybody, not reaching out. So now uh, they know that there are doctors, there are specialists, there are programs, there are clinics that they can turn to for a diagnosis and for treatment. What dementia friendly community and city means is we have training programs on looking for signs of individuals that look like they may be lost, they have some memory issues, and it's really training and educating our residents and businesses in our community to become more aware, if you will, dementia friendly. Embrace the new life you have as best you can and realize your life's not over. It's the beginning of a long journey. It's a hideous disease, but you and your loved one are still living and still going on. And just figure out ways to embrace it. And for me, the best way to embrace it was to join a support group. Doctors are helpful, primary cares, neurologists, friends and family are helpful, um, but nothing like a support group. We don't want people to sit at home and feel that they have no one they can turn to, that they have to deal with it alone. And week by week, the people started to trust each other, learn from each other, and give each other support and information, and that's been the biggest change. And now, in Tempe, there's so many ways to access, very easily, a basic understanding. Because there's no other collection of people that get it. And they don't let you off the hook. You don't get to just say it. They hold you responsible for working with them to work through it. I've had many a caregiver tell me in our group that everybody's at different stages, so you know where you are and you know where you're going. And you can share with other people where you've been. This whole dementia-friendly Tempe emerged with this growth of dementia-friendly communities across the U.S. to understand that um, these are individuals who live at home 
for often five to seven years following a diagnosis. They live in communities, they live, they work, they pray, they eat. <laughs> Once you get the diagnosis, this is not a death sentence. This is something that you can live with, you can grow from it, and uh, there are steps you can take to improve your quality of life. The journey is by no means over when your loved one passes. Everybody knows that. But you can still heal after your loved one passes if you um, uh, follow some healthy tips. So staying with a support group really makes a lot of sense. I have seen resilience in people living with this illness and families like no other. I've seen adaptability and possibilities um, in the face of something where people say nothing can be done. Um, and when you see the core of the person being touched um, in a family unit um, feeling successful, Wow, if that doesn't get you up in the morning to want to do more of it the next day, then I don't know um, how much better it can get than that. There's going to be all kinds of plateaus and, uh, and roller coaster rides for the journey, and you can't have enough of the right support. So go out and grab it. And the neat thing about Dementia Friendly Tempe is it's available. It touches everybody. It's uh, there's no borders when it comes to dementia. And if we could be the catalyst uh, for other cities throughout the region, throughout Maricopa County and the state to look at a program like this, that's really something that is exciting to me personally because we're really making a difference.